as time progresses and the software calibrations that run the engine are more and more finely honed, new features, new resets, new adjustments are always added. Things are fine-tuned to make the engines run better, more trouble-free, and more emissions friendly or conscious. One of the uh, things that they've added in the recent years is some resets for the SCR system when components are changed. Now before the resets were there, the tables that watch the sensors and their readings would just have to slowly reset themselves as time went on because they're, they're learning and it's, uh, I don't know that, that this example is actually true, but let's say it remembers the last 10 events when a new event pops up, it throws number 10 out and the new event becomes the new number one and everything drops down one. That's basically the idea. A lot of times if you recalibrate the ECM, then the software package that you put in, all those tables are reset, if you will, and they all have to start learning. But there's not always a reason to uh, justify updating the calibration. That's between two and three hundred dollars is what you charge somebody to do that, typically. Uh, so if you don't have to do that, why do it? So having said all that, do you need to do the resets if you change, say, a NOx sensor? Well, if the resets are available, you should do them because it makes everything more accurate immediately. If the resets aren't available, then the engine will learn. Uh, and the system might be a little bit off until it does, but it'll, it'll function. So let's take a look and see where those resets are and what they are in the Insight program. Thanks for joining me. Starting on the left, on the main Insight screen, you're going to click on Advanced ECM Data. And then a new column is going to open up. That center column, you're going to click on After Treatment SCR Maintenance. And then that will open up the window. And this is what that looks like. And you can see here your choices are SCR Catalyst Replacement, After Treatment Dosing Unit or DEF Doser Replacement, After Treatment Outlet Knock Sensor Replacement, and After Treatment Intake Knock Sensor Replacement. Um, they do not have a reset for the decomp pipe, even though if that plate is broken out of it, it will white stack and excessively dose DEF fluid, but apparently you don't need a reset for that. So all you do is highlight one of these and then a little lower on the right, you can't see it, but there's a button that says reset, you click it, and then it will tell you to turn the key off and click OK, and a timer will run out. Usually it's a minute and 30 seconds, and then when that ends, it'll say turn the key on and click OK, and then you're done. You've done the resets. And again, you may not see this screen. It might not be there because this is in the calibration. If you've got a very early calibration on a 2014, say, you might not see this. And then if you update the calibration, it might magically appear. Because remember, all of everything you see in Insight in terms of diagnostic tests, everything, is coming out of the calibration inside the ECM. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe, and subscribe for good tips and help on taking care of that Cummins engine.